So I'm going to describe uh, how I ran a switched accessory line on this um, RTV 1100. So uh, the power comes directly from the battery. You have your positive and your negative. Positive and negative right there. Um, hooked into the battery. You have a fuse holder here which currently has a 15 amp fuse in it. Um, the wiring, this wire here that runs to and from the front is 14 gauge so it should carry any amount of power it should be needed for an accessory. The wire runs into this piece of 3 quarter inch poly tubing here and runs underneath the bottom floor plate to the front um, where it emerges up there. So the wires run behind some of the stuff here until you get uh, to this area way under the steering wheel under the console right here so as far as how this is wired in here um, I've, I've uh, wired it the way I have so that there's um, so it can be reconfigured if necessary um, there are spade terminals so your positive power that's coming in has these two spade terminals in the end here um, which means that you can disconnect um, all of the switch and everything else if you need to get power at the front here for some reason and you want to switch that out. Um, I've also configured it the, um, so that um, you can disconnect power from here and here and then connect it directly to here and yeah here and here bypassing the relay that I put in if you want uh, to be able to use this um, well, if you don't want the relay to work. So, now, um, what's actually happening here is that uh, this green wire here heads over and hooks in right there to the accessory wire on the starter switch. And so the, that one is ACC here, accessory wire. And you can see this diagram of when that is on when accessory is provide, being provided with power. Um, there's that diagram and as well as see, this one here. So basically when you turn the, the key switch on to accessory uh, mode then you're being then or when the machine is running that wire is being powered. So we're using that wire uh, to activate uh, this relay. So the green wire comes into the relay um, and activates it. Power comes into the relay, both positive and negative. Um, this, you can see the negative is being split here because we have to provide negative to the relay as well as negative out to the switch. So that one's being split positive, that was being switched through the relay. So once it heads through the relay, then you get here to this, these splitters. These are also spade connectors. I've used a bunch of connectors to make it easy to reconfigure. So like I said, you can take these two spade connectors and hook them into this wire points right here, down here directly out of the power to bypass the relay if you don't want to use it. So as far as the connections back here, these have negative going in at the top, positive going here at the side and at the bottom. These two smaller wires are providing the power for the lights in this switch. So um, when this is, when you have power, this bottom, see the bottom light is on. When you turn it on, it, the top, an LED also illuminates the top. Okay, so in order to provide power to these lights, um, you provide power, you provide negative to the top here, or I provide a negative to the top here. That powers the top light, which is on when the switch is on, and then provide positive to the bottom, which provides power whenever power is being provided to the switch. You see if I switch, switch power off, there you go. And of course, that power is being provided uh, via this relay which is switching the power on and off uh, when I switch um, the machine on or I have that key in, 
in accessory mode. So that's all there is to it. Uh, power comes out of the switch right there. Positive power switched out of that switch. Um, switches into right into the outgoing cord right here. Um, and the negatives is just uh, grounded to the frame of the machine. This this is also another 14 gauge wire. Um, it runs through the same path back through back through right there and back to here under the machine. And then ultimately, uh, you know, we have enough wire here that we will run it um, through to the back of the machine in order to provide power back there. And then ultimately ends in one of these um, SAE spade connector, SAE connectors at the at the back. So that's about all there is to it um, as far as the wiring. So if I'll probably I may add a another one of these connection points right here. Uh, that would enable uh, the wire that goes to the back of the machine to be replaced uh, when and or if it gets damaged, um, or that you could actually um, split the connection at that point. But you know that'll be added um, if and when it is necessary.